Go on, go! Go, go, go! <laughs> Variety is the spice of life. We love to do and experience different things, from totally off the grid and little to no luxury, to once in a while indulging ourselves in the luxury of a marina. It makes us almost forget that five years we slept in our car to survive in life while we rent out my apartment and pay for the bills. So join us in this episode where we feel like James Bond as a family. We spend a day in one of the most prestigious marinas in the world and contemplate about the past, the present and the future. So join us in this new adventure. And if you're new here, hi, we are Rihanna Gerben and Benjamin. We travel around the world and experience a lot of different things. We share our business and mindset tips and just enjoy life. you into a day in our marina life and we start with our favorite moment of the day and it's the sunset and a special one this time because we are going Mom, with our new bus. improved dinghy yes hello pregnant lady hello. and this little big dinghy isn't really ours, but of two amazing friends we met here in Montenegro. Until our Albert engine will finally arrive, they blessed us with using their little beast. easy for Rihanna because Benjamin is jumping on her the boat is splashing so we have to take it slow no more power Benjamin Do, Benjamin. Bad Are you going to swim? Yeah. And what did we forget? We forgot your Yes, we only have one. We only have one of your bands, swimming bands. So in the boat. Yeah, yes. go the boat. Yes, so you have to swim Orange in your life boat. jacket. Orange boat. Yes, our big boat. No, no swimming bands. Yes. Ready to say to take a dip? Mama. Mama first? Mama. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit cold. Are you, are you gonna join me then? Go on, go! Go, go, go! Go to a trip? Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, <Woo -hoo>! no! <laughs> uh, have you seen that house over there? Oh, that one. It's like a dream house, right? Yes, and then here as well. And then the sunset. 
<laughs> it's time to go back to the boat? Yeah. What are we gonna do? Gonna have some dinner? Are we gonna eat? No, honors. Something different? Mm -hmm. What then? Apple chair. Oh, you want an apple? No, cookie. Cookies? Yeah. Yeah, you can eat all day cookies, right? Cookie. Popcorn. What, what does the captain want to eat? Popcorn. Popcorn. We're gonna have a movie tonight. Oh, movie night. I think a James Bond. James Bond, yeah, we are watching all the <laughs> all the old James Bond. So we started with Doctor No, and now we have from Russia with Love. But we've been watching this for four times already because I slept, I fell asleep <laughs> after five minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, but we would love to see the whole series of James Bond. Yeah, and and some of you know that we're actually a little bit big fans of James Bond. If you've been watching our thumbnail so now and then you can see some James Bond influence. Yeah, but also, but I think it's the surrounding here as well. It's Montenegro. It's for me. It really reflects James Bond. It feels like James Bond. Yes. I'm gonna ask the lady if she's looking for a neighbor. And did she want a new neighbor? She didn't want a new neighbor. No, but she's not living here. She rented it. Yeah, but look at this. But we would love this part, we actually like. But we see everywhere possibilities and... Yeah. I think one of the most valuable things we had to learn to escape that rat race and live a beautiful life right now is how to live in the present. How to appreciate our lives in any given circumstances, to leave the past behind and get not consumed by the goals we have for the future. That shift from past behavior and pain to be in the present, meant to live with gratitude each day. And grateful we are every day again. It feels like ages ago that we went through hardship and sometimes it feels all very unreal. Like we are living in a dream, our dream, and maybe that is just it. already dark and uh, now we're gonna go off to the swimming pool but first the captain yeah. <laughs> is taking off his beard having a fresh cut good morning some energy while swimming and I'm actually making a smoothie with all the delicious things that Jennifer bought for me in 
England, so all the power foods and uh, powders that I normally would get could get here. So, uh, and then we're off and set up to go. <laughs> Side with his fingers already. Nah. Tasting. Done. <laughs> A grapje. A grapje. A joke. The <laughs> pen is good. Dummies? The baker, baker, baker. You want some water? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, hey, let's go. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. I think one of the best things of living on a boat, you can almost wear every day your bikini or your swimsuit. Okay? Jump! <laughs> That's, how it is. That's how it's done, huh? I don't need to fall. So you're gonna fall? Yeah. That way. Okay, grab your bike. Let's go. Good morning, Benjamin. What do you say back? You say good morning. Can you say good morning to Elliot? Good morning, Captain Benjamin. Good morning, Captain Elliot. <laughs> Elliot, tell us what are you going to do today? Today we are going to Corfu, a 200 mile cruise down the coast. Down the coast. We have a cruising speed of? We're going to cruise at 30 knots. 30 knots, all by yourself. It's going to be a good day. Yes. <laughs> Where are you going today? We are going to the pool. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> yes. is amazing and there is this very friendly lady over here who actually knows the founder of this whole Porto Montenegro concept and she's extremely kind and Benjamin loves her. <laughs> 
We see goals as dreams with a deadline. If we can dream it and without a doubt believe it, we can achieve it. Easy? No. But possible? Hell yeah. And we have one of those dreams right here. We would love to sail the Black Pearl one day. Not only to be on her, but actually sail her. So, we created a plan. A footprint, which works for almost everything. First, we had to be in our proximity. Well, we can check that box. And second, she had to know us as well. Check our last video. Third, we needed to get in touch with the captain. Yep, last week we had a drink with him during one of the crew club barbecues. Fourth, and this is a tricky one, we have to get on board for a full boat tour and leave that great impression. Well, <laughs> work in progress. Yes, and fifth, we have to keep the spirit high and ask what we need to do to be able to sail her one day. Sixth, stay creative. Of course, we will get a no, but we keep pushing until we get a yes. So, in the end, we are sure we will sail her. With a plan like this, the hardest part is actually believe it. To have certainty beyond any doubt that you can do it. And if you take action from that amount of certainty, the stronger those actions will be and the higher your chances of success will get. So what do you think? Will we sail the Black Pearl one day? We know from experience how it is to lose your health and wealth overnight. And even though these times were tough, we made it a decision to give it a positive meaning, which brought gratitude. It helped us navigate through it all and overcome adversity and setback every time again. But most importantly, to truly believe again that we are worthy of abundance. The power of gratitude lies in its ability to completely change the way we see the world. We were conditioned when growing up to approach life from a place of scarcity and always wanting to have more. And especially after the bankruptcy of Gerben's company, to compete with others and with ourselves. But when we got beyond our scarcity mindset and started believing again that the world is filled with abundance, we began to think of life as a place to give and not to get. This is amazing, right? Look at the Black Pearl having this view. And as said before, one day we will sail on the Black Pearl. We still don't know how, but we know. I never imagined that I would be here at exact this place. And now, I'm, uh, now we are here with a view on the Black Pearl. It's just amazing and you meet the most interesting people over here and then you talk about life, you talk about business and you never know what kind of opportunities will, uh, will arise from this. And that's the beauty of being part of a yacht club and uh, yeah, and a beautiful pool like this where you can have early morning swims with uh, almost no one here. And here are the yachts all coming in. So they are going over there because over there is the custom dock so they have to check in. So every day there is, uh, there are, yeah, there are new yachts coming, and and that's it. Yeah, and part of the membership is that you can uh, take one of the G70s for sailing. And I would love to sail together with Benjamin and together with Rihanna because Rihanna never sailed on a dinghy like that. Um, and besides that, you can row over here. And when I was living in Amsterdam. I saw the, the early morning rowers every time. So that's what we're gonna do as well. I'm gonna row here in the bay and gonna sail together with Benjamin and, uh, and Rihanna. So we're here in our Portsmouth Negro Yacht Club and we have the 
possibility to sail on those little ones and I think Cameron is gonna try if he can do it with Benjamin and otherwise alone and Benjamin stays with me and it's gonna be exciting! Exciting to uh, to sail the dinghy, yeah. Than uh, to sail the perfect sense now. Yeah, I think I believe. It's been a long, long, long time, time ago when I sailed for the last time in a dinghy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to have my first uh, lessons. Yeah, are you still <laughs> able to ha to go sailing? I think I have a good day. I can. You can now. I don't think I can now, but maybe. At this moment, I'm still having some uh, pains in the bands. <laughs> so, second try. How about in? <laughs> but, you, but you've always been a small sailboat sailor. Yeah, you call it dinghy sailing. Dinghy sailing, you've always been that. You've taught people, you've raced. Yeah. I think it's like bicycling. I don't think you have to worry. Cycling. Cycling, yes. I don't think you have to worry. I'm not worried, I'm just excited. Oh, very good. I would be worried. Well, yeah, then again. <laughs> I've never sailed anything like this. No. <laughs> but I do recognize all the parts, so that's a very good first step. Good step. <laughs> and Benjamin recognizes them as well. Benjamin, you have to take off your shoes. Here. No, I will not throw them in the sea. Of course I will. I will not throw them in the sea, Ben. I promise, okay? Always listen to Captain Daddy. Always listen to Captain Daddy. Mama Daddy. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. I'm gonna save them here with all the other stuff. Look. that this is really serious. <laughs> this is a mobile VHF, so if we run out of wind and we are over there and we need help, then we can call for help, Benjamin. Yeah? Come on, Benjamin. You have to go over there. This is magic, right? 
Magic adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's through like this. This is real magic. Benjamin is uh, moving the boat forward. But we are behind the Black Pearl. It's not always money, but it's the moments you can collect with your dearest ones. And yes, I had to learn the hard way as well. Are we tagging, Benjamin? Are we tagging? You're a real captain. Are we sinking, Benjamin? No. We are sinking, Ben. No. Yes. No, we are definitely not sailing. That's for sure. Hello. So what do you think? Do you want to join the sailing lesson? Yeah, I think this is an easy one. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Sink or not? No, not sinking. Hey, look at the ground. Here we go, Ben. Good weather for a first try. No wind. <laughs> but I think it's perfect actually for Benjamin to get a little bit of feeling for the. Yeah, I'm familiar. It's for me as well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Come, come, 